promise no singing this time. No! No, no, no singing at all. No. We were almost sued. I have to sing. All right, here we go. Oh, we gotta go. Right. Watch your step, watch your step, step watch your step, move. watch your step. Whoa, we're right. almost right. there. Right. there. Close. Ready? Hold Shake it off. Shake it off. Oh, that's another song. Oh, stop oh. it. Stop it. Right. Man. Oh, hi. Anyway. It's been a while. Yes. Yeah. It's almost felt like a month. I know, and I see you shake some. And I haven't so much. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Lost the battle with the razor. Yeah, you got a little crazy. <laughs> Howdy, y'all. I'm Mr. Holga. And I'm Todd Puckett. And this is Don's Use Photo Equipment. So, Todd, we've got a lot. We've got a full, full show here of stuff to discuss with you today. Yes. Uh, yes. First, I'm going to start with a small correction. Uh oh. Uh, so, as I you. I didn't think we ever made mistakes. We don't, but that doesn't keep me from being corrected. And w do you know who corrected me? That's right, you're married, I forgot. <laughs> no, no, worse than worse than, worse than than Mrs. Holga, uh, Mama Holga. Mama. She caught me with a comment. Uh-oh, Because she watches, that's nice. Which is nice, hi. yes. Hi, hi, Mom. <laughs> she does watch, and uh, so I was discussing, we were discussing the Drensky drawings. Yes. And, and I said, well, of course I shoot with a Holga, and you're like, well, he could do one, and I'm like, yeah, but they're mainly in black. Mama Holga pipes up and says, but mine's in white. <laughs> uh, Which is the opposite well, of no, black. And she's absolutely correct because yeah. Holgas do come in a lot of colors. Towards yes. the end of the Holga golden age, they were making all sorts of different colors and, st uh, and styles of Holgas. And so she's absolutely correct, 100% correct. But I would say 90% of all of my Holgas are black. It was worth it just to hear the golden age of Hogus. <laughs> the golden age of, well, the golden age of making Hogus. Oh, okay. Because, you know, they shut down production and then yes, they came back. Yes, so yes. That, that was the golden age of, of that. Absolutely. So I understand you've got at least two new things here. He's two got things. two new things. We're about to discuss them. And then after that, we've got some really cool stuff to show you towards the end. So don't, don't cut out early on us, guys, because we have got, this is a jam-packed show of stuff. We did a little I mean, bit of studying. I mean, not together, but I mean, just looking. So well, I, mean, I hate we, to break the tradition. Yeah, well, I wouldn't say we actually prepared. No, but no. we have things to talk about. So, Todd, that what is, is first? True. What is first is on, on the uh, the playlist? The here? first on the playlist is film, 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 film. And you know how much we love film. 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 Now, this from, isn't just any film. From film photography podcast. Yes. Dee, 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 dee. Now. Hold it, hold it really oh. close. There we go. Wait, hold on, hold on. Let me, let's really do this, man. If we're gonna, man, we gotta get all of them? Gotta See, get them all of them. Uh, so unprepared, are we? Uh, now, here's the deal. Yeah. Well, okay, what's the deal? Okay, Why do they like say, everybody else. For, it says low ISO for, I keep seeing that. It, to me, in my mind, it says slow. Why, why would I think this is slow? Because you're not very fast. <laughs> But why would I think this film is slow? Low, low ISO. This is low. Low ISO. So I have one here, which is the fastest of the three. ISO 25. Yeah. ISO 25. This is called the Sonic. Film Photography Project Sonic. Now, they may have had this a little while, but you know, now I am able to get things like this. This one right here is... Should be oh. that first one was 25 ISO. Yeah. What's yours? Yes. What's yours says? Oh, okay. ISO of six. Oh, this is six? Six ISO. Okay. That's the middle one. Six. That's six. pretty that's pretty slow as far as I'm concerned. That's really slow. I but mean, this is as fast as uh paper, as far as I'm concerned. You rock, know, uh, paper, scissors? Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this one is ISO 1.2. Oh. Now, we sit there and go, oh, well, who, who is who is gonna, gonna use film like this? Who like this? who wants film that slow? What are we just talking about? Just a second ago. What were we talking about? Yeah. Holga shooters. Pinhole photographers. Pinhole photographers. Pinhole photographers would love this stuff. This is your day, people. This is some this is some really super cool slow film. Hmm. He's hearing things. Don't I am. Don't never mind I him. Am. But this is this but is that cool. and I also needed to put these over here anyway. <laughs> so that gets the 35 millimeter out of the way. Yeah. Now, what was the 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 ending of the last show? A photograph. Yes. I'm not painting. The painting. painting. Which, what was said on it? Oh, oh, the, the bigger the, bigger the, the, the negative, negative, the better the picture. The better the picture. So now we're going to go bigger. We're going to go bigger. Bigger, bigger, bigger. 
Now, a customer of mine loves shooting. You've got customers? Yes. Three. And they all came in today. It was great. It was a busy day. <laughs> it was. Thank you. It's a household name. Busy day? <laughs> no, I'm not. It's my horse gum. <laughs> the, um, so a customer, one time, decade, uh, a while back, I won't say how long. Um, had a thing to where they would go into the darkroom and do six, six, four by five prints. Seis. At one time. At uno time. Now, he had a device <laughs> that would allow him to do all of this in a tray. Okay. And he tried and tried and tried to find that device again and could not find it. He looked high. He looked That's the old. story of my life. Yes. He was trailless. The... Finally, he decided, what the heck? I'll just have it made. All right. I like and, that. Uh, so he goes, all right. So he goes, do you think people would buy this? And I thought about it. And I go, yes, because large format is making a huge comeback. Yes, it That's is. That's the first thing. Developing your own film is making a huge comeback. With a capital U. Yeah. Huge. And with that in mind... He is going to have these made by hand. And then I'm going to sell them here at the store. Here's the prototype. So what we have here is uh, it's a clear acrylic. And essentially it's got lovely holes in it. So obviously it you're going to all throughout this. The you're going to have it in a tray and at the edges. Now, the reason it has holes in it is because you can sit there and do this. You put it, the chemistry in here, in the dark, right. completely in the dark, unless you're doing ortho. Right, yeah, <laughs> which red light. Red light, and uh, what you can do, yeah, six ortho, yeah. four by fives in here now. Then you sit there and you just you just take the whole tray and go it back and forth with rocket. Right. And the holes in here will allow the chemistry to go all throughout the trays. Yes. So now instead of doing one at a time or dip and dunk or anything dip like and that. Dunk. Yo, the Is that a coffee dunk. place? Yes. The dip and dunks. Yeah. It's 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 next to donut shop. <laughs> the uh, then you could sit there and do six of these at one time. And then you pick it up, hold it to the edge like this, let all the chemistry drain out through all the holes, and then in the dark when you hear it stop dripping. Move it over to the next tray. Same process. Stop wiggle, bath. Woggle. Developer, stop bath. Fixer. Loop, loop, loop. Yeah. Lift it. Put it in the next tray. And there you go. You've done six four by fives at one time. Much easier method than, cool. than, than doing the other systems. And when you're finished, just Oh, see, now I was thinking the holes are more for delaying the chemicals. I it think. is. You didn't know, let me know it, it was is. a finger hole to Surprise. pop up the pictures. Surprise. That's. <laughs> but. That, that's, I wasn't expecting do, that. Yeah, see, so you, you got to keep it, you know. Fresh. Exciting. It's challenging. Yeah, exactly. Can't let all the secrets out at once. So, six of them at one time. So six this is at one proto, time. This is the prototype. And this, what size is this? This is an 11 by 14 tray. All right. Which just six. Which rather common, yeah. Yeah, very common. So no special trays. Six black and white photos at a time. That's pretty cool. That is cool. And then whenever, and they'll be like uh, around eighty nine ninety five for something handmade. Everything has to be drilled and hand done and all of that. So that's pretty cool. That's, that just looks like that would work out really rather well. Uh, I tried to make my own. Uh, uh, wet plate dunking dunking thing. I tried yeah. using it out of acrylic, and you know, I I, well, I think my biggest problem is I didn't make the holes big enough because as you put it through the liquid, the liquid kind of want to screw it back at you. Yeah, but these yeah. holes look really huge, and so big holes. I, I don't think that that's going to be an issue with this one. Big and, holes. And I like the fact that you know even at the corners and also here in the centers. Now oh, yeah. you also have like the little sections in here. You've got one long piece here, but you have all the little sections here. So this is, there's a lot involved in this, in making this thing. And of course, whenever you set it in there, emulsion side up. Whoops, which is not this way. <laughs> Wrong way. Yeah, there we go. All emulsion right. Side up. So this is pretty exciting. It's pretty interesting. And then cool. uh, you can go ahead and come by and start placing your orders for them now.
Nothing wrong with if that. If you want one, come on in. And then whenever he finishes them up, the customer has them finished up, uh, we'll let you know. But it shouldn't be too long away, uh, too far away is to have this done. So yeah, the, these are all being handmade because there's no reason to get like, I like that. That's, that's, 10, that's kind of cool. Them made. Uh, yeah, no, but still, that's But a hundred cool. of them, that's a, that's a good start. And I've already shown a few people this thing and they are excited about and it. And these will be first in Dallas. First in Dallas. Yes. Not, not the and whole Don's world used here. Photo equipment. Another first. Unless he just does something different, doesn't tell me. Then, you know. Just in case. <laughs> the little ostrich. You, All just, right. you just never know. But those are the two new things that the, the one here and the one will be here. Yeah, I, I like that. That's, that looks pretty cool. I mean, I, I'd like to give one a try sometime. Uh, that, that looks really neat. I yeah. like that. Yeah. Of and course, I need to do some more uh, large format large photography. Format. Now, he will also he can also make uh, it to where you can do two 8 by 10s in, in, a, in a, of course, bigger tray. Yeah, well, uh, or I was thinking just remodify the, the size a little bit. So. Well, not you and yeah, you just do one but like that. But mm -hmm. I mean, where you, where you can do two at a time. Yeah, that, you definitely need a bigger tray. Bigger tray. And so there, there are, are other versions of it that are being looked into. Well, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, did we mention the person? Or are we not mentioning? Not mentioning. Well, I'm sorry. We're, that's a that's a, that's now a company a customer. secret. It's Custom, a customer. It's a customer. Yeah. That's his first name. Customer. Customer number one. <laughs> well, on to the next part here. Uh, yeah, we we are taping this in advance of. <gasps> of See? nature photography day so we so we actually did national just a little nature is it national yeah, nature national well nature. it just says nature photography day on yeah. this one. Oh, okay so nature photography day and this essentially is by the uh north american nature photography association so the n-a-n-p-a and they started this date and it looks like in 2006 so it's been going for a little while that they've been having a nature yeah, photography so, yeah. day so this so, isn't like a decade. So month. we didn't just make this up. No. You can uh, search this online and you'll probably find the exact same sheet that we're looking yeah. at right here. And I believe there's a bit of a contest and you can submit in yes. images. The yes. day itself is actually June 15th, which is a Monday. Mm -hmm. So if you're if you're interested in this type of thing, I strongly suggest you go and check it out online yep. and uh, see if uh, see if you want to participate or anything like that. Uh, Todd and I are about to we're going to discuss some nature photography tips and tricks and ideas. Yeah, and, cool as thing. you can see, first tip and trick right here is we're in Texas. And whether or not you know it, that uh, bandanas are actually uh, portable air conditioning devices. Yes. So I was very fortunate this week that I got to go to the Dallas Zoo because they just opened. Uh, n under normal circumstances when mm -hmm. I go to the Dallas Zoo and it's during the summer and it's always hot and I will immediately have a uh, of a fountain right there at the beginning of the Dallas Zoo. It's these, so uh, these take a little dip. Well, these three Swim elephants, it's oh. uh, it, you know, the three sculptured elephants. They're just spewing some water. It's got some, you know, everybody stops to get their photo taken there. I don't <laughs> stop to get my photo taken, but I stop and I just dunk my bandana in the water. I will spin it up. I will tie it and I will put it on. Yep. That's my air conditioner. That's it. Now, if I have a brand new red bandana, it normally stains the shirt. But oh. every other color, it it just seems to hold rather well. So that's like tip number one, if you're going to do some nature photography. But we were going to discuss <laughs> what, what exactly is uh, nature photography for us. Yes. It's not the city. Nope. It's not a bunch of people. Nope. It's not a sporting event. Nope. It's not cars. Nope. It's none of those types of things. Nope. Uh, so per Holga <laughs> week, uh, nature photography was defined as... Uh, if you have bad cell phone reception, you're in nature. Yes, and you can't see a, a, a building over two stories. I think the only <laughs> buildings that qualify for nature photography are going to be barns or barns, cabins. Yes, barns yes. or cabins. That's that's where they go. And, and yeah. as far as vehicles are concerned, that's just we're talking you, we're talking tractors. Yeah. They're not going to be in the yeah exactly, and you're not going to be. But no, no telephone poles and wires no. and uh, no. modern cars and things like that. I mean, if, mm -hmm. yeah, if you have a if you have a, like a '57 Chevy out in the middle of a field that looks like it's been there spent the last since 67 <laughs> five decades out there yeah photograph it because that would be cool that's in nature that, so that's, nature it's, it's actually slowly going back to nature yes yes <laughs> to its original roots of dust the nature then outside away from the big city and yeah. it's the 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 objects that you shoot is that coming up or are we talk about it now no we can oh, yeah. we yeah right now well it, nature isn't just land you know landscape no, it's, it's not just landscape. It's not just, it's not landscape. It's not just landscape. 
but it's it, it is landscape it's wildlife yes out in the middle of nature and it is fun things like that so lots of fun stuff and it's oh, definitely it's, so it's yeah it's not just limited it's it's expanded and it's yeah. fun and and there's some fun little things about this whole topic so yes, we're I mean, so, it. so nature for me, I mean, obviously I go to the zoo a lot and I photograph and it's because I want to photograph animals and as best the zoo can do is they try and put the animals in an environment that looks natural mm -hmm. to them. And that's one of the benefits of it. So w whenever I'm shooting there, I try to frame my shots that it looks like the animal is still within that natural environment. So I don't want to get people in the background. I don't want to get, um, uh, fences yeah. and, and I don't want to get feeding bowls and different things like that. I really want to get the shot that makes the, the animal look like he's wild because that's yeah. really the, the trick of the entire thing. Right. So if you want to start your nature photography, it, you're in the in city. A more contained. I, I would go to the atmosphere. zoo and I, that I would con concentrate on doing that. But you know what? Yeah. The, a chain link fence, no. it, that's no bueno. No. That's, that's just not going to happen. Now, the fun thing is, is that you're talking about the zoo. The zoo is, it's, is it open just to members right now no it's actually open to everybody right so now. so it's the zoo is open to everyone and there uh, are both, some both of our zoos the yeah. dallas and the fort worth zoo they're both open however you have to go online you have to purchase your tickets in advance and you have to actually select a time that you're going to go to the zoo because they're trying to uh, pace the crowd out. They don't want everybody showing up in the morning and, and creating a, a huge crowd. Yep. They would rather have a few little people sprinkled out throughout the day, and which I think is really great. Uh, so, and I actually did the Dallas Zoo here last week and uh, it was really nice. They actually created a one-way loop around the entire zoo. So, uh, and, and of course, only half the zoo was allowed to be occupied at the time and it is all outdoors. And so mm -hmm. it was a really good experience. Yeah. So, and and, yeah, and so fun. is most uh, so state, online, state parks right now. State parks, state parks are a great available. place to do a, a hiking and nature walking and, and some photography. And there are some great stories out there about uh, about national parks right now that are just it's just really fun because wildlife is taking over. Yes, the wildlife's like, huh? You people haven't been here for quite some time. I wonder where you went. Oh, <laughs> I live here now. <laughs> this is my road. This is my parking lot. This is great. It, this is a great story. Uh, I'm going to have to let you this. So we, uh, Mrs. Holga and my third place youngling, uh, we, we all went to Yellowstone uh, a few years back. I think it was probably about 10 years ago. And uh, we got up really one early. We got up early one morning and we went to do a geyser tour. So we went, we were going to stop at all these different geysers. And uh, we got off at this, we, we parked the car and we were start walking up the boardwalk. And of course there's some bison. It's like, okay, by this, we're like on day two or three, there's always bison in Yellowstone. But this was early and we were walking up to see the geyser. So I stopped to start taking some photos. And of course my family is like, oh, does he have to take another picture of another bison? Yes, he does. Yes. But this one was more memorable because as we were walking up the boardwalk, a park ranger was coming the other direction. Now, mm -hmm. it's early in the morning. We're all wearing sunglasses and we've got hats and we're very tourista, if you could. And the park ranger said to us, don't stare them in the eye. They might charge. How does he, how does the bison know I'm wearing sunglasses? Exactly. <laughs> yeah. It's like, I, 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 should I take them off so he Is can that, see that I'm not looking I'm him not in the looking at I'm, you. I'm not looking. I'm not looking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah but that I, but that's a great know. nature it's like it really is, you said is. that out loud to me yeah <laughs> Shh, the bison can hear you man the, the bison can hear you don't do it so uh yeah what so what is nature too what would you be shooting if you were out oh man it, it would be landscape and uh, and wildlife yes yes and uh, I, it'd be definitely um edges of lakes yes i think that would be kind of fun uh also there, it'd just be kind of fun to be from a canoe shooting out. yes definitely so yeah. just getting out there and enjoying in it. nature and just taking pictures of, of what's around looking for the right angles looking for the right uh, niches that just aren't everyday viewable yeah and you can't go to a place once and and oh think gosh, and think no. you've gotten that best but you really need to visit a place a couple of times to figure out what is great about this place in and, different and times of the year different, different times a day different times a year you you, mm -hmm. you you have to go revisit a place until you really get that great yeah. shot and I there's mean, you're tons, never going to get it the first time tons of state parks around texas to go yes to. there are tons 
and look up Texas State Parks. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And, All uh, over. I think just there's at least what, 25 what's... plus state parks. There's a lot. Yeah. And yeah, and a lot of them just have totally different things within them. So yes. you got sort of the Paladuro Canyons. Yeah. Up in the Panhandle. Then you've got, of course, the the uh, trees and terrain out in East Texas. Uh, yeah. The Caddo Lake Mills. And then our Caddo Lake. And then you've got, uh, uh, the, the, I think there's nature uh, down south along the beach. Uh, I mean, there's uh, one. There's one near Galveston. Near Galveston, uh, but yeah, there's parks are all over everywhere, the place. everywhere. And uh, there's some sort of hill country parks that are just tons of places to go to. Look them up, see when the when the best times to go are, and uh, go out in nature. Yes, and go and go have some good nature fun. So speaking of which, we're gonna we're gonna take a quick look at some nature photos. Now I'm gonna show these to you <laughs> online, but I wanted uh, Todd to see these, and so yes, that's why right. I brought this in here, so we could discuss a few of them. And that's nature Ooh. from this morning. What what, yes. what have I got there, Todd? You have a caged squirrel. I, yes, I did my nature uh, hunting this morning. I have a that's I have today? I have yes, that is today. I have three squirrels that are all trying to rob Mrs. Holga's bird feeder. Yes, and so now I am down one squirrel because I took him to the the squirrel nature preserve about a mile away. Oh, wow. Yeah. So you, you let him loose in the nature preserve. Yes. I just, I do just, they know about it or do they, they don't know it's a nature it? preserve. It's an, it's just an empty field. <laughs> toss, toss, toss them over the thing. But, uh, ah, oh, excuse me, wrong, wrong way. Let's wrong go way. that way. Yes. Those are some zoo shots there. And so we're taking a look at some of these photos here. I just want you to, to, to show there's a commonality between the photos that, Flamingo. that, that well, you can keep doing yeah. that yourself, you know. Yeah, I can. What? <laughs> Would you cut my meat for me? So I can eat? <laughs> yeah, so no, no. Hippos. Yeah. Uh, close up of a hippo. Yeah. Yep. Portrait. <gasps> Muskrat. Meerkat. 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 Close. Yes. Close. He's dangerously close. Ooh. Capture most of these at the zoo. Cheetah. Cheetah. I don't have to identify these for no, you, do no, I? No, no, no. Cheetah. This, uh, this feels like we're going. I going to see. Muskrat. Had cheetah. <laughs> Ah, hello. Uh, it's a, a Kip Springer, actually. But that's a form of that's a uh, my, potatoes, potatoes. That's right. Ah, uh, that's my. You know. Uh, it'll yeah, see, I know. Cute. He wants so badly to show you I there. Want to. That's but cute. I think one of the things you'll notice a lot with my photography Ooh, is, is this part that. Um, um, nature. Well, it's that's, nature, but that's at that's, that's at the stables. That's at the stables, and that is a, a young colt. Oh, and yeah, that's my backyard, colt. but that's like one of the squirrels that got away. Squirrels. So, oh, this is cool. Yeah, but yeah. But, but as you'll notice, a lot of the things that you'll see from my photos mm -hmm. is that um, I'm using a telephoto lens. Yes, and You're essentially, I'm right. compressing. I'm compressing the foreground, the background, the middle ground to actually make a much better picture. And you are blowing out the background. And so the background is becoming slightly blurry. The, to the, very, the very blurry. close foreground is slightly yeah. blurry. And so my subject is right there in focus. Now I'm shoot for photog photographing mainly animals right now. Yes, yes. So obviously if I was photographing a landscape, I don't uh, want it to be blurry, right? No. Yeah. So that's why we were going to have a quick discussion on lenses here. I love these. And you're gonna have get to see them here in a little bit. And I just dropped that. Whoops. I get it. All right. All right. So this is one of my oh, lovely, lovely good. Nikon's. Wow, that is so cool. With a 50 millimeter lens. Yes. Okay. And a nice personally made. Yes. One of one of the older ones, not yeah. one of the new cool ones. So this is your 50 millimeter lens, and this is the standard. This is what we would consider baseline. Yes. And as you know, anything that is less than 50 millimeters is going to be wide. But anything more than 50 millimeters is called telephoto. Photo. Or is at least considered telephoto. So this 50 millimeter, not good for landscape, not good for nature photography. Mm -hmm. Now, if you have a wild animal, you're going to have to get really close with the yeah. 50 millimeter. If you're wanting to take a major landscape, it's just not wide enough for all that. So putting this one aside, and let's see, I didn't need to take it off, but I did. This one is a 24 millimeter lens. So I've got a much wider lens, but it doesn't get me any closer. No. Now, it does the, opposite. The, the common thought is, and I've been watching a lot of really good videos here the last year or so, is like using a wide lens is not great for landscape photography. Actually, a telephoto lens is better for landscape photography because mm. one of these, one of the one thing that this doesn't do is it doesn't compress 
everything. It doesn't bring the mountains closer. It doesn't bring the trees closer to you. It, it gets a lot of stuff in the picture, but everything looks super small. So what you got you is really close you got a really small landscape point. and a huge sky, or you've got a really large field and just a tiny little bit of sky. And that's not really great yeah. either. So that's not, that's not the suggestion there either. So after the, after the 50 millimeter, this, this is my 85 millimeter. Mm -hmm. Now is, this is more of a portrait lens, more of a great portrait. lens. It's a great portrait lens, but it's going better in the direction that I want to go because this is obviously more, this is going to bring more mm -hmm. to me than the 50 millimeter. Now, is that something you'd choose as a use it as a? No, because this isn't far enough for me. This one is a 105. Yes. So this one is a nice walk. If I was if I was on a walking around on a trail, I probably would consider this one, but mm -hmm. still probably eh, probably still not big enough for me. Not doesn't bring it close enough. Do, to doesn't it. bring it enough All right. to me. And one of the most common popular lenses out there, this is a what is this? A 24 right. to 70. So this one obviously not as far as the 110 or the 85. But it's still, it's just something that like this is what you'd shoot butterflies with. If they're close, yeah. that, that you can definitely do. Yeah. My go to lens. Lizards. <sighs> a monster. Is this monster? This is my 200 to 500. Yes. And it will bring things together really good. Now, the trick when f shooting a landscape is, it's, the trick is going to be called Photoshop. Because what? Because obviously, if you're pointing this at the at your at a tree, you're probably going to get just that tree. But what you want to do is get that tree plus a little bit more stuff. So what you will end up doing is more than likely. And I see a lot of these photographers do it as they shoot in portrait mode. They will go click, 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 and then what they'll do is they'll let their photos overlap. Let's say about 10 percent, ten to twenty percent at a time. Mm -hmm. You take those three photos to, uh, and, and put them together in Photoshop. Stitch them together. Photo and, stitch. Absolutely. Yes. And then all of a sudden you've got this compressed photo, yes. but you also have the wide view to it. Yes. And that is a seriously good trick. Yeah. But uh, to coin a phrase or what is it? What was that statement in a movie at one point? It says, you think that's a lens? That's not a lens. No, this is not a lens. I, only I wish we had a bigger lens here at the store. A lens. Oh my God. Here, just bring go. it on over here. Yes. Now, this is a lens. This is a lens. The unfortunate part is ah. it doesn't fit my camera. That's a lens. A 1200, that's a 1200 zero zero millimeter lens yep. F11. Mm. The person who owned this could sit in this yard. He lived out in the country. Take a picture of a mountain goat on a on a mount uh, of a goat on a mountain, a crop, a w long ways away. <laughs> you could photograph a squirrel at five hundred yards easily, and yes. the squirrel would never know. Never know. You could you could reach out and touch nature with this. There's only one problem with this lens for me. It it's a Canon. <laughs> I thought that would be the benefit of this lens. <laughs> This but that's a lens. That is a lens. And let's see here. We got to get all of the proper. Whoops. But there is a cannon in here. Yes, that, that's that's the cannon. Who would have thought that there's a cannon no. in the cannon? Look, look at the look, size of that's the cannon. The, right? And that's it was just camera. in a little end here. Yes. <laughs> what is that? A E one? Uh, no, an F one. It, it's an F one. So out of this whole thing, the the no no it's it's this part right here. Oh, something so you, not something you, you not set. You there got we a go. So. There we go. Now it sits down. Now, so this is the lens right here. Yeah. And this is the camera body a little bit. right here. Now that's a lens. Well, ah! uh, yeah, I would use that for photographing polar bears and uh, still and, might be a little and, too and, close. and lions. If, if polar bears got a whiff of you, I mean, you know, they can close the gap if you're going quick. to be if you're going to be sh photographing birds. You have got to get far away from them because because yeah. as soon as you get where you think you're close enough, they're like, I gotta go. Yeah, they're, they're because gone. when they hear start hearing that click click click, uh, birds. What what else do we have? We have bobcats around here. Oh we have gosh, uh, this is, we probably have alligators and trees. Possums. You we've think got we have alligators? Raccoons. Uh, we've got we've got it. There's all right rumors there. that we have an alligator at the uh, at the um, the Las Colinas. Oh, Las Colinas. Yeah. 
it's a big rumor. I mean, I remember following that quite a bit. No, no, you said the nature, <laughs> the history of the photography. The history, yes, I know. The history of the, the history of nature photography. We got the cameras, we've got the lenses, we've got all of those things. But just a little bit of fun facts that yeah. I could find. Okay. The first wildlife photography put in a magazine. Oh, oh yes, yes. 1906. First photograph. First photograph of wildlife in a in magazine. Wild, in a magazine. 1906, June 1906, National Geographic. Now, the story behind this is in 1905, this gentleman, I can't pronounce his name, it's like seven <laughs> letters long, and it's that's mostly not, consonants. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, in 1905, he went around and took photos, and in fact, did the first photos of wildlife at night with the strobe, which is hilarious because you're looking through the photos and most of the animals are going, ah! <laughs> <laughs> so you got three deer that are like two feet off the ground darting in a direction because they're, they, they're, they're shell shocked from, from the But they probably ran into a tree because they were blinded by it. The gentleman would set up a rig with the camera and then have feet out in an area to where when the deer or animals came up and fed or tripped the wire to get there, it set it off. And it would just be a big <laughs> explosion. Oh, can you imagine he had, flash bulbs at that time too? Uh, well, oh, I don't know. It wasn't bulbs. It was probably like a, just a big pile of powder. Oh, <laughs> that was something. Just, I don't know what it was. The hell out of but these were the first nighttime photos of wildlife photography. And he had 74 photos and he took them to National Geographic and they said, we love them. And they put them in an issue of their publication. That's cool. Now, what's even more funny is our interesting and a footnote of it. Two members of the National Board of, uh, on the board of the National Geographic Society resigned in protest because they were turning the National Geographic into a picture book. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, and of course, a hundred years later, that's all we expect. That's all we have. It's <laughs> like pictures with a little bit of uh, scribbles beside them somewhere. So it's hilarious. Don't make me read the article. I just want to look at the pictures. I want to look at the photos. <laughs> so and for the history of nature photography, wildlife photography, uh, that's one of the fun, interesting moments in it. And in, in mm, fact, one of the nice. most popular magazines out in the U.S. is Nature Photography Magazine. And also another one in the top 10 is wildlife photography. So these are still popular actual magazines out there that yes, you can go buy printed, and printed get. Printed material. So long, rich history of nature photography. Well, we're pretty much towards the end of the show. Okay. And uh, I don't. we haven't actually really discussed it very much. But you know what? We would love to see your nature photographs. Yes. Yeah. And uh, what, we would, of... what we would like you to do is hashtag Don's Use Photo Nature. Just all one word, Don's Use Photo Nature, as I'm going to put it right here on the screen in front of us. Don's Use Photo Nature. Sometimes he puts it up here. Uh, you put it on there. We're going to follow that hashtag. We want to see what you've got. Share us yeah. some of your, your shots. You know, uh, Do it specifically probably on Instagram. So we that's actually probably going to be the best place to share photos. Okay. Uh, but we would love to see what you're, you're shooting or where sure. you're shooting at. Uh, now, yeah. remember, nature. Uh, we don't want to see cars and trucks no. and, and people and things that we want to see animals and trees. There's and actually, if you go online as well and you do Dallas nature photography, you know, mm -hmm. just a, it, there is a link to several different places around the DFW area that you can go to and take nature photography. There's a lot of stuff on this on this topic and subject in the local area. Right. And, you know, like being in the DFW area, North Texas or Texas area. You know, it's it's really it's really kind of fun. And there's a lot of sites out there that are geared toward this concept. That uh, right, right, right. That, you know, the, the and I'll, I'll send you some of those links and, and you can look at them and maybe put them in somewhere and. And it's, yeah, it's so really we'll fun. we'll put a link to this in the the descriptions below me. Uh, I don't know what we will put above Todd's head, but we, we'll find something to go. A little up there. halo. Well, it's not a halo. Oh, <laughs> it's my high school high school. Um, 
mascot. I, every time he says he went to high school, I, I just, it's I just, I'm just I so hilarious. I really it's did. I don't care what they say about it. I mean, <laughs> the fact that you went to college, I can accept, but the fact that you went to high school, I'm like, well, that's small, anyway, small school. So that's pretty much it for us. Yes. And as usual, please do share, like, like subscribe, yep. tell two friends, tell three, tell three friends. Yeah, we're going uh, to go share all this out video all. with them and uh, please share the photos with us. Don's use photo. Yes. Nature. Yes. Nature. All one hashtag Don's for us. And we hashtag. will, we're going to check them out. And that's pretty much it for us, right? It? All right, we covered everything. That, yeah, right. that was a lot of stuff. So Hope you enjoyed it. Good timing. Get out from your house. Go shoot some pictures of nature. Yes, have some fun, y'all. Share, share with us. See Thank you all you. later. Bye bye. Up uh, and watch. Oh. Hey, uh, oh. We're gonna fall over it. No man, it's gonna fall over on top of us. One day you'll find me here, and there'll be a lens on top of us. Oh look, everybody, Xavier's here. Hey, Xavier. Xavier.